his parents and his sister With a summer lost Roll down to the sea And the air is softer than a whisper Hello and welcome to the May issue of Crimea Torch Song, the video version. I'm Piers Ford and that was Gretchen Peters singing The Boy From Rye, which comes from her new album, Dancing With The Beast. Well, you certainly can't fault her consistency. Her last two records, Hello Cruel World and Blackbirds, would both have vied for career pinnacle status on the curriculum vitae of any artist. But with this outing, she's really scored a hat trick of magnificent collections enriched by songwriting of extraordinary vitality. Peter's voice, which itself is one of the great sounds of contemporary Americana, is a siren call that lures you onto the rocky shores of her vivid stories populated by characters brought to life with startling clarity. Danger, violence, abuse, the double-edged comfort of faith, the complexities and necessities of survival, these are all grist to her mill. I'm not sure if any singer-songwriter today has quite that capacity for blending intimate introspection with broader social and political influences. Peter's never rants, but these are emphatically songs for our time. Sharp explorations of domestic, emotional, national and global landscapes, shrouded in lush, lilting, guitar-driven harmonies. Here's a snippet of Love That Makes a Cup of Tea, a wish for the simple, unconditional embrace that washes away the tensions and fears that have gone before. <laughs> There is love that moves a mountain There is love that beats a drum There is love that fights for justice Knowing justice won't be done There is love that goes to prison Love that goes to war There is love that rows a lifeboat Towards some shining golden shore there is love that makes a cup of tea. That was Love That Makes a Cup of Tea from Dancing with the Beast, the latest peak scaled by Gretchen Peters in her increasingly majestic career. Now for a slight turn north in the direction of some Norwegian Americana. Darling West have already achieved huge popularity at home and at festivals in the States. Their new album is a pristine, country-flavoured set of songs which defies easy categorization. At times, vocalist Marie Sandveer Kreken evokes the Blue Mountain sound of Dolly Parton or Emilou Harris, but there is another layer which hints at her Nordic roots, cool and crystalline. The album was mostly written in Brooklyn, but finished back home in the Isle Mountains and the transatlantic influences are obvious. Here's the opening track, actually penned in Oslo, After My Time, a bittersweet meditation on mortality and transience, which showcases Kreken's voice against the band's spare, soaring arrangements. <laughs> Well, that was after my time from Darling West. Now, Nature Calls. Where Corrine Polwart drew inspiration from migrating geese for her recent masterpiece, A Pocket of Wind Resistance, Kerry Andrew, an emerging voice on the alternative folk scene, 
has found her source material in freshwater folklore, inspired in part by her love of wild swimming. Working with multi-instrumentalist Sam Hall and percussionist Peter Ashwell under the moniker You Are Wolf, she's released her second album, Keld, which takes its name from an ancient northern English word meaning the deep, still smooth part of the river. These are tales of witchcraft, waterfall banshees, sprites and drownings, featuring vibrant female characters and told in forms which absorb wider world music into more traditional folk tropes. Kerry Andrew knows how to weave a story and song. This is an atmospheric, refreshing album which gradually gives up its treasure on repeated listening. Here's Down in the Willow Garden, a sorry, murderous tale told in Andrew's deceptively fragile voice. That was You Are Wolf, down there in the Willow Garden. Miriam Cook, meanwhile, is Free Falling. The title of her new album, a subtle blend of acoustic folk and more global influences, which swoops and soars like a gentle meditation on the human condition. Cook's career has been nothing if not eclectic. She's an archaeologist, musician, broadcaster, actor and producer, and a former model. With such rich source material, diverse perspectives inform her songwriting, while her voice has a poignant crystalline clarity which calls to mind Joni Mitchell uh, or even Judy Collins. These songs feel deeply personal and there are moments of real intensity among some uplifting pop melodies and subtle world music beats. Contemporary references jostle for attention, cradled among traditional folk airs, which make them even more arresting. Here's a snippet from Picking the Roses. I can never remember to stay clear of the thorns. That was Miriam Cook picking the roses. Finally this month, with summer finally on the way, a burst of melody from jazz singer Karen Lane, whose new album, Pesarim, was born out of her love of Brazilian music and a journey of discovery through the songs of Jobim and the proponents of classic lilting sambas and bossa novas. These rhythms and intricate melodies always pose tricky challenges for the artist and Karen Lane has risen to those challenges with elegance and style. With breezy arrangements in the capable hands of accompanists, including drummer Andrea Trillo, who also co-produced the album with Lane and Curtis Schwartz, the singer focuses on lyrical clarity and creates a mood that swings from languid romance to brooding saudade. I'll be back soon with another batch of new releases, but in the meantime, I'll leave you with a sultry blast of estate. Estate You bathe me in the glow
glow of your 